Macho Man. <laughs> we have two giants this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Two of my favorite people to talk to. Uh, the one, the only, Mr. John Lithgow will be out here in just a moment. One of the greatest living actors out there. And truly an American treasure, a historian, and a wonderful friend of the show, Doris Kearns Goodwin will be out here in just a moment. Beautiful new book about her life with her husband. You know, folks, uh, this is exciting. Summer's around the corner. And so is the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Illinois. It should be a fun time. Historically, all the Democratic conventions in Chicago have gone super smooth. <laughs> and guess who's gonna be there this year? Me, because The Late Show is doing shows from Chicago for the entire Democratic convention for one week. Look at that. Sweet home. For one week, The Late Show will be broadcasting from the 130-year-old Auditorium Theater. It is absolutely gorgeous and so creatively named. <laughs> the Auditorium Theater is right next to the Cafeteria Restaurant and, of course, the historic Rooms Hotel. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Some of you may know I lived in Chicago for 11 years, and it holds a special place in my heart. And not just because of all the Polish sausage that's still lodged in my aorta. <laughs> Chicago is where I cut my comedy teeth performing at the Second City. And it's also where this South Carolina boy got an education in winter. Did you, did you know that tears can freeze? <laughs> I didn't know that before I lived there. You gotta keep blinking. So get ready, Chicago, because this summer, it's the return of Da Colbert. <laughs> Folks, stop. Bears. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time over there in the news kitchen, sourcing the day's freshest story shrimp to make a fine topical broth, while sauteing onions and garlic with ahi panka and amarillo, and then carefully simmering it all with potatoes and evaporated milk to present to you the rich yet delicate Peruvian chupe de camarones chowder that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just, just sometimes, folks, while fleeing the Taiwanese panda smugglers I double-crossed, I scrape the bugs off my stolen tuk-tuk's windshield into a discarded carburetor cap with some Gatorade sawdust and packy peanuts to slurp the fugitive road swill of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. There it is. It's a steady hand of the wheels. What this? It's a steady hand of the tiller. Meanwhile, in local news, health officials warn that leptospirosis transmitted by rat urine is on the rise in New York City. Oh, man. I was hoping to finally hear some good news about rat urine. <laughs> Meanwhile, news from England where apparently spraying Axe deodorant on male sheep gets them to calm down and stop fighting <laughs> because it masks the hormones that get the boys butting heads. So, there's no argy-bargy, no rowing. <laughs> the British call fighting argy-bargy? That's adorable. How did these people take over the world? <laughs> All right, everyone, we're just here to steal your landy-wandy. <laughs> because we believe you're an inferior racy-wacy. Now, chop-chop, put all your natural resourcey warsies on the boaty wotsy or you'll all be in for a spot of argy murder. <laughs> Meanwhile... Taco Bell's chief marketing officer has revealed that he eats at the chain every other day. Explains Taco Bell's new marketing campaign, Help! My blood feels thick! <laughs> apparently, apparently this guy always sticks to the same order. Two to three crunchy tacos, not supreme, just regular crunchy tacos and a bean burrito with extra onions grilled, adding, you have to try it, it's life-changing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I misread that. Ending. It's life ending. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Netherlands, McDonald's just debuted the world's first scented billboards, which diffuse the enticing scent of McDonald's french fries, an aroma so iconic that they haven't bothered to print anything on the billboard, not even a logo. So people will start smelling McDonald's fries out of nowhere for no visible reason. Looking forward to the new jingle. Ba da ba ba da. Am I having a stroke?
Meanwhile, meanwhile, oh, that's all right. Meanwhile, in absolute freaking hero news, at a Rockets Clippers game this week, Rockets center Boban Marjanovic went to the free throw line and proceeded to miss the first of two shots. Then, knowing that as part of a Clippers promotion, if an opposing player misses two free throws in a row, fans are treated to free chicken. He did this. Oh, they're pointing to the Boban's playing with the crowd. Say, you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh! I haven't seen sports commentators that excited since the miracle on ice. Five seconds left in the game. The crowd is going wild. Do you believe in miracles? Nachos! It's nachos for everyone! No, 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 no. We'll be right back with John Lithgow. <laughs> 